the hymns recently have been on the theme of the hope and promise of the forgiveness of our sins through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and because of his atoning death all of our sins have been removed and we can claim that promise that if we're here uh, confess our sins God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and we've been uh, considering how there's a big difference between what John Owen calls gospel forgiveness that free forgiveness that is completely based on the grace of God in Jesus atonement and legal forgiveness that qualifies that forgiveness based on uh, certain performance uh, or behaviors and uh, one of the things that is so striking about the prayer that the Lord Jesus taught us is that we should be praying daily for the forgiveness of our sins in other words daily claiming that promise of forgiveness just as it says give us today our daily bread so it's followed by praying immediately after that by forgiveness claiming the promise of complete forgiveness and of course that's claiming gospel forgiveness and then it was on to say as we now forgive our debtors those who have sinned against us and sometimes that's a bit harder for her to grasp to be able to really forgive others with gospel forgiveness and uh, Paul really challenges the Ephesian Christians to say that we should forgive others as God has forgiven us in Christ we can only do that by the grace of God and we can only do it if we ourselves have tasted and experienced gospel forgiveness if we're living uh, in a relationship with our father like the prodigal son wanted to uh, sort of bargaining relationship of legal forgiveness then we'll find ourselves offering that forgiveness to others as well which really isn't what Jesus is talking about here but if we've tasted of this gospel forgiveness this complete and total forgiveness based not on our performance not a 90% a forgiveness and then we will uh, show our sincerity by making up the other 10% or so, but a complete 100% forgiveness, then we can offer that to other people and we'll go out of our way to let them know that we freely and fully forgive them without any strings attached, so to speak. And so today I'm going to sing the Lord's Prayer again, which we did a couple of months ago, um, because of those particular verses. Forgive our debts as we now forgive our debtors with the same gospel forgiveness that you have forgiven us with. Kingdom, the power and 
the glory. 